ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल बी शोइंग यू द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू फाइंड द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस मटेरियल ऑफ द प्रिज्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एंगल ऑफ मिनिमम डिविएशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू मेजर द एंगल ऑफ मिनिमम डिविएशन बाय ऑब्जर्विंग द रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रू द प्रिज्म इन द रेंज ऑफ एंगल्स फ्रॉम थर्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी फाइव देन प्लॉट अ ग्राफ एंड द पॉइंट ऑफ द मिनिमम डिविएशन we use that in the formula to find out the refractive index so my student kirtan morning will be performing the experiment for you to capture and understand okay first start with the setup by drawing a horizontal line on the sheet okay after that you place the prism over here and trace its outline make six such outlines three on one sheet and three on the other sheet okay now for each outline of the prism you need to draw a normal so while he is drawing the normal he will just show you how to do it for one diagram then you can draw for the rest keep the protractor like this just a second keep it there let him let the children see okay now somewhere in the middle you keep the protractor okay and mark the point of 90 degree as he has done so then he will join it with the point here first to draw the point here okay join this with the broken line to make a normal yes see that okay after this we draw the angle of incidence now while he will first draw the normals for all six diagrams in the meantime i can explain you about the prism now this is called a prism we in the lab are using an equilateral prism equilateral means all the angles in this are 60 degrees each each of these angles right that's why it's an equilateral prism so this is a simpler one that we use the other prisms that we know of are the scalene and the isosceles prisms which are used for different purposes but in this case for our experiment we prefer using a equilateral prism first step is to keep all these six diagrams ready because after that you can quickly take the observations okay now we start with the angle of incidence as 35 so you will draw the incident ray by placing the protractor this way can you see how the protractor is being placed the horizontal line is along the normal and then we will measure the angle of incidence because angle of incidence is the angle between normal and the incident ray all right this is 35 degrees now remove the protractor draw the incident ray one thing one tip here don't forget to put arrowheads on these lines because these are lines 
when you put arrowheads then they become light rays after this place the put two all pins the feet of the all pins should be at least 2 cm apart from each other yes now place the prism back okay here now you need to kneel down and look at the pins through the prism now when you see the pins through the prism make sure that your nose is aligned with this tip of the prism and then you look a little towards your right okay that's the correct procedure align your nose with the tip of the prism and move your head a bit towards right you'll be able to see the pins don't see the pins from the top of the prism see them from the by the feet through the prism yes now you need to place two more pins see that the four pins the two on the incident ray and the two on the refracted ray are in a straight line so after this we remove the prism and the pins after this we remove the prism and the pins all the four and circle the position of their feet then extend this incident ray and the refracted ray and measure the angle of deviation with the protractor i'll show you how to place the protractor yes so you place the protractor like this the intersection point on the intersection point of the protractor and measure the angle of deviation the angle of deviation as you can see comes out to be 40 this is the angle between these two rays the one in the incident and the refracted ray so this angle 40 degrees so we repeat the same procedure for angle of incidence as 40 45 50 60 70 80 90 65 you can take if only it is required if your graph observations are enough to plot a graph with these six observations you can go ahead with that make sure to label the angles on each diagram because one of the diagrams will be checked by the either the external or your uh, subject teacher to ensure the authenticity of observation once all this is done fill in the observation table record all these in the observation table corresponding to each angle of incidence write down the angle of deviation so we are going from 35 to 60 after that you in the calculation you have to write down the angle of minimum deviation as observed graphically and then calculate the refractive index using the formula sin a plus delta m by 2 upon sin a by 2 a is the angle of prism in this case since we are taking an equilateral prism the a angle a will be 60 so we will now plot the graph we are drawing a kink because we are not starting from zero otherwise the graph drawn will be too big so it doesn't matter you plot the angle of incidence along the x axis and angle of deviation along the y axis since we started from 35 so the graph first division first marking is on 35 goes on till 60 ah. same for the angle of deviation starting from 32 it's better to always take a good scale of your graph to get a neat graph check the range of your observations accordingly mark the market on the x and y axis label it here delta angle of deviation and here angle i write down the scale 
scale has to be mentioned separately for x and y axis x axis it's 1 cm is equal to 2 degrees and y axis we have taken the same scale you can take and now plot the graph write down the observations in this against 35 it is 40 40 36 45 39 okay so you can see the observation table shows the variation that the gradually the angle of deviation is decreasing and then starts increasing again so at 35 it's 40 at 40 it's 36 45 39 50 40 degrees 46 40 degrees 55 41 and 60 degrees 43 degrees okay now this is the graph which you get after plotting delta with respect to angle i and this is the point where you can see that the deviation is the least okay so this is the location which you have to use as the angle of minimum deviation for the calculation so this angle as you can read from the graph comes out to be 36 right 36 degrees is the angle of minimum deviation so i'll show you the calculations in the calculations what we find is the angle of prism we know 60 degrees 36 degrees is the angle of deviation so apply in the formula a plus delta m by 2 divided by sin a by 2 with that what you are getting is sin 96 by 2 in the numerator and sin 60 by 2 in the denominator so it becomes sin 48 upon sin 6 30 the value of sin 48 you can see from the standard log tables there are uh, pages for the angles so use that uh, sin table value over there natural sines from there if you see the value of 48 degrees it is 0.74 and sin 30 is half multiplying the two we what we get is 1.48 this is a perfect result because this prism is made up of glass and the refractive index of glass is nearly 1.5 mention this in the result that the graph how the graph shows the graph indicates the angle of incidence as the angle of incidence increases the angle of deviation first decreases then attains minimum value and starts increasing again mention the angle of devi minimum deviation and the refractive index all these parts are important for the presentation of your in presentation in your answer sheet then you have to mention two precautions and two sources of error any two precautions and any two sources of error okay thank you everyone